What's good guys, you guys here back to my channel and today or tonight actually is the very first video of 2022. So happy new year, all that stuff and um yeah and tonight we're gonna do um a little review of WWE Day One all that shit, all that crap so far, so good and then that's it. You know, so like I said, I'm gonna do some reviews and stuff, but not tomorrow night because the, tomorrow night is nothing. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, let's get to it. First off, the pre-show um <clears throat> was boring as hell. So, as always, with WWE, um, because AEW does a good job with um their kickoff shows better than WWE and shit so uh, yeah so here we go the product of the ongoing rivalry between former tag team partners Cesaro and Ricochet battled Sheamus and his protege Ridge Holland as part of Saturday's, uh, Saturday night's kickoff show and early injury suffered by Holland and, and indications being that it's a broken nose left Sheamus to go it alone, the Celtic Warrior dominated the I the action, isolating the one and only, and cutting off from the Swiss Superman. A hot tag to Cesaro sparked the combat for the babyface feud. By uppercuts from the wrestling machine, Cesaro ex uh, executed the swing and then the sharpshooter, but Augusty Sheamus just made it to the top rope to force the break. He then even up the odds, delivering white noise to Ricochet on the floor back inside Sheamus. Did the seemingly impossible rocking his former tag former tag partner with the bro kick for the win. So uh, Sheamus and Holland defeated Cesaro and Ricochet and it was terrible. So yeah, um that there wasn't much to it and stuff and um yeah, it was dead with the fans on that one. So, now we're on the main card. Because um, the kickoff don't count. Because it's just its own thing. So, yeah, we're on now. We're on the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The New Day versus the Usos. The legendary rivalry between the Usos and the New Day continue in the opening match of Saturday's pay-per-view. As Kobe Kingston and King Woods battle Jamie and Jay Uso for... The SmackDown Tag Team titles, the champions dominate the action until a counter into a Tornado DDT by Kingston and a hog tag to Wood Woods sparked a late combat by the challengers. Woods delivered a side Russian leg sweep to Jimmy Uso, followed by a modified version of the f Future Shock popularized by Impact Wrestling's Chris Sa Sabin, but could not keep him down. Jay halted Wood's uh, momentum, but Kingston regained regained it for the baby faces with a cross body block for two. Jimmy answered with an Uso splash for a dramatic two count, turning his attention back to the injured knee of Jimmy of uh, knee of Kingston. Jimmy applied the tequila sunrise. The former WWE champion fought to the ropes to inside to the break. The action broke down. The champ sent Woods to the floor and delivered stereo super kicks. And then stereo uh, stereo splashes, but the 2021 came the rain broke up the fall. Moments later, the twins again de uh, deposited Woods to the floor and delivered a 3D, a 3D to Kingston for the win. Usos defeated, the, defeated New Day to retain the titles. It was a good match because some of the fans were saying this is awesome, so it wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Um, all okay. right, Drew McIntyre versus Mad Cat Moss. Oh my god, this match was so fucking horrible. I don't know what the fuck I was watching. So yeah. Anyway, so Drew McIntyre and Mad Cat Moss battle in the night's second pay per view match. The culmination of a few no one asked for as always Moss held his own surprisingly enough but the Scottish warrior fought back following a blind charge into the turnbuckle the former 
champion down Moss hawked up and set up for the future shock DDT. Moss counter Moss countered, but walked right into the low down. The jag the dad joke loving Moss answered with a fall away slam, but McIntyre fought back, brought back brought him off the uh, the ropes and delivered the claymore for the pinfall victory. McIntyre defeated Moss sucked ass. Um, yeah, this match was so fucking horrible. Nobody, I didn't ask for this match at all. So, um, this match sucked so bad. It was terrible. And shit. Raw Tag Team Championship match. RK Bro versus Street Profits. For the Raw Tag Team Championships. Which I said. Award winning rap group and and Atlanta's own... Migos accompanied uh, Raw Tag Team Champions Randy Orton Brittle as RK Bro defended against the Street Profits. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, a hot shot by Orton and Riddle early as negated by a focus attack by Ford and Dawkins who teed off on the original Bro and cut him off from the Viper. Orton eventually did receive the tag and exploded into the match and unloading on the opposition with the flurry that included a double uh, draping DDT. The action broke down, climaxing with Ford diving over the ring and ring post and wiping the champions out back inside the ring. Riddle popped Ford, popped Ford up in the air and Orrin delivered a dev- uh, devastating RKO for the win. And successful title defense. After the match, Migos joined the champions in the ring. Street Profits engaged in a display of respect with the champions. And everyone stood tall to close out the segment. Um, RK Bro defeated the Street Profits to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. It, yeah, it was, this match sucked. Um, again, Edge versus The Miz. Edge controlled the opening moments of his match with The Miz, stunning him with the brood theme entrance and kicking a considerable ass early on a distraction by the heel's wife, Maurice, allowed Miz to drive into the ring, post, and seize control of the bout. Miz repeatedly bashed Edge's head in the announce table and then, uh, and, and then set him up for the skull crushing family, Edge countered and drove Mrs. Face into the table, which did not break back inside a series of pinfall attempts. Ended with Miss sending the Hall of Famer into the po- into the ring post. He added a chop block and applied the figure four, further damaging the left knee. More counters and reveals reversals. I mean, ensued before Edge applied the cross face Miss. Rolled across the ring to reposition himself, allowing Maurice to put her husband's foot on the bottom rope and force the break. Miz ramped up the aggression, but Edge delivered a hip toss from the rope, from the top rope. Maurice hit Edge with her pocketbook, allowing Miz to deliver the skull crush defending for a dramatic near fall. Maurice argued with the referee until Beth Phoenix returned and made a beeline to squared circle. She chased Maurice around the ringside, distracting Miz and allowing Edge to deliver the spear for the win. Edge defeated Miz C+. Okay. Yeah, again, this match wasn't good because Miz deserved better during this match. Yeah, so he deserved... This match was terrible also, man. My goodness, man. This match sucked also. Feel sorry for Edge. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why. And then, yeah, feel bad for it. I mean, Edge, because this. Um. Yeah, the crowd was very quiet. Um, during this match. It was like dead. This, the fans were like dead. Like after that uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, they were just dead. Like 
nothing was going on as much. So, yeah. And then we get to Raw Women's Championship match. Lynn Morgan versus Becky Lynch. My goodness, man. I feel bad for Liv Morgan in this match. Alright, so, um, here we go. A German determined Liv Morgan wasted no time taking the fight to Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch from the opening bell. She delivered a scream, a uh, scream, a springboard code breaker, fought big time backs around the ringside and had the champ reeling with the rings of Saturn submission after a gorilla press slam from the top rope appeared to awaken her to the reality of her situation. Lynch down Morgan and seized control of the bout. The challenger fought back and delivered a springboard drop kick that flattened the champion. Lynch answered with a disarmor, but Morgan fought out, at, fought out and delivered a DDT for a close count, for a close two count. Sorry, she had a draw dropping springboard sunset flip powerbomb for another near fall. As a commentary team questioned what the challenger needed to do to win the match and title, Lynch, <coughs> excuse me. Lynch missed a leg drop from the rope, from the top rope, and Morgan delivered a missable drop kick. The champ rolled to the floor, though preventing a pinfall when the challenger added a cross body through the ropes onto the floor. Lynch again rolled to the sanctuary of the floor. There she bashed Morgan's face in the commentary table. Morgan recovered a uh, Stuck Lynch's arms, arm in the stairs and stomped away on the limb. Back in, she caught the champion in a ring of ring in the rings of Saturn until Lynch rolled up for two. The baby face set up for oblivion, but Lynch countered and drove her into Matt for the clean pinfall. Okay, Lynch at the last minute she almost put her leg under the rope. So she almost, she almost put her leg on the rope, almost did, but it was already too late because it was already over. So yeah, this match sucked big time. It fucking sucked. All right, this match. My good, I feel bad for Liv Morgan. I love Liv Morgan to do truth, you know, but damn, man, I feel bad for her in this match. So buried her big time. All right, now we get to the fit of five way for the WWE Championship, which is on the Raw on the Monday Night Raw side. Um, so our uh, they po they announced during the kickoff of the day one pay per view, but they uh they said an hour before the kickoff started, which is probably would have been uh. Wait, five o'clock where I was at, so because they're in Atlanta, Georgia, they um said an hour before the kickoff they announced that Brock Lesnar was going to be in the Fatal Five Way. Uh, you know, well, it was supposed to be a Fatal Four Way match at first, but instead now it was a Fatal Five Way, so they added Brock Lesnar at the last minute to join the. Oh my God! I'm trying to, burn. I'm sorry. To join Biggie, Kevin Owens, Seth freaking Rollins, and Bobby Lashley. So, and then Brock Lesnar joined. Because Roman Reigns was supposed to be in the main event for, you know, tonight's main event. Well, yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, because he had COVID, that's why they had to cancel the match so that really sucked but um but whatever what can you do anyways um yeah i can't argue but covid is a son of a bitch these days you know since 2020 um <clears throat> yeah anyway so here we go 
WWE Champion Big E knew he had to defend his title against Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins at Bobby Lashley when he arrived at the arena earlier in the day. He did not know Brock Lesnar would be added to the fray following Roman Reigns' positive COVID-19 test, which I told you. Um, the Beast Incarnate unloaded on everyone in his path, introducing Owens and Rollins to Suplex City. Lashley drove Lesnar through the time to the timekeeper's position, though only to be driven through the announce table by Big E. Rollins and Owens delivered a double DDT to Lesnar, driving him to into the ring steps as the unified fr uh, front attempted to keep Lesnar out of the match. Moments later, Rollins attempted to stomp on Big E only to be caught mid-run by Lesnar, who delivered the F5 and then down down Big E with one with one. Then Owens, uh, um, a spear from Lashley, stopped the path of rage. Big E saved Lesnar from the hurt locker, but quickly found himself on the receiving end of the F5. Three seconds later, there was a new W champion. Lesnar defeated Big E, Lashley, Rollins, and Owens to win the title. Yeah. Um, I knew he was going to win anyways. So, <clears throat> what can you do? So, yeah, he suplex like, <laughs> like everybody, you know. I thought that was going to be it. But, it was okay. But I knew Brock Lesnar was going to win because, um... Yeah, I knew he was gonna win anyways, so um it was okay this pay per view, but like after the the SmackDown uh Friday Night SmackDown championship match was over, that was it. People, cause I remember, cause people were chanting, "This is awesome and stuff," and yeah. Yeah, it was just. The whole entire time, it got awful. I feel bad for Liv Morgan also, so. Yeah, anyways. um, There's why I'm drinking because I'm stressed out from it. Because, um. <clears throat> shit, I don't know what to say no more. So, um. Yeah, anyways, this man, this pay-per-view was, uh, it kind of stopped twice, like, buffering, uh, WD Day 1, but, oh, sometimes I wonder how much a complete idiot and Vincent Man is, and Bruce Pritchard, Nick Khan, and People Power, John Laurinaitis. Um, <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep freezing a lot every time I make videos, like I'm so frustrated because I don't know why I watch this bullshit and all that stuff and, um, Shit, I don't know what to say because some of it was completely fucking garbage, you know. Like Liv Morgan, my goodness, man, Liv Morgan, she did the best that she can, you know, to beat Becky Lynch or Becky Bitch is what I want to call her or Lynchburg, how you want to say it. Um, Becky Lynchburg, how you want to say it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, what the fuck am I watching sometimes? You know, um, yeah. Because Roman Reigns wasn't there, I mean, that's why it sucked. Because <clears throat> there was nothing you can do about it. COVID is just COVID, you know? Can't do nothing. You know, the only thing you can do is get better like two weeks, or I think it's two weeks, too. 
to a, I don't know, but anyways, I never had it, but, um, like, my goodness, man, and Drew McIntyre needs to turn back to a bad guy, right, because him being a good guy right now is just so old already. You know, it's so fucking old. Like, get rid of the sword. And all that shit. But, no, whatever. It's Vincent, man, he likes whatever he likes. You know, it's... <sighs> yeah, this is the first video of 2022, so... Enjoy while it lasts. So, um... Don't worry, there'll be more... Mostly Monday night because there's nothing much right now on Sundays. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be reviewing Monday Night Raw also. Um, so far, so good. Um, yeah, anyways, um, this was it, you know. But, um, yeah, um, I'm sorry, I'm lost for words. And so, because I don't know what to do. No wonder I like AEW better than WWE. Because, yeah, so, yeah, I knew Brock Lesnar was going to win. I had a feeling, you know. you Because, like, you have that feeling that something's going to happen or whatever. But it's like, you don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know. But the same. You know, I'm just... My goodness, man. So fucking awful. And I thought I was going to fall asleep on it. So. Yeah. But anyways, um, this was it. And I'll see you all Monday night. Like, very late. Because I watch other shows after Monday Night Raw's over. So, um, so yeah, it's going to have to wait. Uh, later like at night so um yeah so this was it and i don't know okay to you i don't know how people are defending wb this whole entire time <sighs> like i don't know how i didn't because they're kissing this man's ass that's my thing like some of these fans are kissing this man's ass bruce pritchard's ass john larenize's ass and Nick Khan's ass. I don't know how they're defending some these idiots are defending WWE. You know, no wonder I like AEW better. So it's like Vincent Mann is not having a good time. Nick uh Tony Khan Tony Khan is from any from AEW. These Tony Khan's have more fun than Vincent Mann is. So Yeah, anyways, yeah, I guess this is it, and, yeah, yeah, there was six matches in this pay-per-view, six matches, there were supposed to be seven be because of, for Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship, but, um, and Brock Lesnar dropped the title because he had COVID and stuff, so, um, yeah, anyways, this was it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Laters.